All right, guys, welcome to the second framing video. Uh, we're going to finish up these exterior walls. So you can see me laying out the top and bottom plate and then putting a stud every 16 inches, uh, except where the wall is going to intersect on the inside or a window or door opening. It went pretty quick. We just stood up these two walls. This is going to be our master uh, bathroom and closet wall. Here with the in-floor heat, we couldn't really stand up a wall, so we just framed it this way, and it actually was pretty easy, so we decided to uh, do the whole garage this framing method because the garage is so far off the ground we couldn't really lift the walls up unless we braced them like crazy and literally lifted them up with a machine so it took a little bit longer in my opinion but it, uh, it actually should be stronger because we toenailed everything except the top plate obviously alrighty good morning guys it is labor day we're gonna do some labor I'm pretty sure that's what this holiday is meant for I'm not sure but we gotta get this house done so we don't have a choice it's lightly misting, so it's just like 101% humidity, which is actually really nice because nothing gets wet and you stay cool. All right, you can see us putting down the sill seal here. Uh, this is kind of just a pass code. We're gonna seal the outside with a product called R-Guard. It uh, bonds to concrete and OSB. So the sill seal is really just a pass inspection. Um, it is to provide a capillary break between the wood and the concrete. For air sealing, we're not gonna rely on the sill seal. This is a eight by eight door. This will be for the side by side in the back of the garage. Um, people have commented before about the size of the garage. It's a 30 by 40, but you guys got to remember, we do not have a basement. So the rear storage room and just some extra space for us. Working off the skid steer is a lot nicer than my sketchy ladder. If you guys have seen in the last video, <laughs> I was standing on the top. Uh, it's not even a rung, but we made it work. Uh, no incidents, so. We finally finished framing here at the front of the garage. We just need the top plates everywhere and the garage door headers. So we were so excited to finally get this step done. We wanted to try some sheathing, uh, but then I realized quickly that I was way too burnt out and just frustrated. So we had to come back the next day uh, with a new attitude. Well, me with a new attitude. Chelsea always has a good attitude when it comes to working on the house, but it uh, it's not very productive when you're working, when you're burnt out. Once we got a system down, it started to go a lot faster. Uh, we chalked the line at 48 and a 16th to give a little bit of gap um, in case the poured wall wasn't perfect, it wasn't in direct contact. But again, we're gonna be sealing this bottom joint super good, so it's not too important. Uh, but this just gives us a straight line. We would plumb both ends of the wall to make sure it was perfectly square. For the second row, we would drive in a nail so that the sheet could sit on it with there being an eighth inch space because you don't want your sheathing touching. Otherwise, if it gets any moisture, it will swell and it will buckle and you don't want your OSB buckling otherwise your siding is going to look terrible. This zip system was pretty expensive, I mean well worth it in our opinion, but we didn't want to waste any sheets so in some window openings you can see they're like partially covered. Uh, we didn't want to waste any sheets so we're just going to wait until we're ready for windows and router out those openings. Putting this OSB on definitely was not our favorite, uh, we knew we were going to have trouble with this doing it after the fact but we just had to develop a system and kind of power through it because you need sheathing on your house we just ran out of nails but look at this we got some sheathing up if somehow you guys haven't seen this stuff this is called zip board uh, the zip system by huber and essentially it has a waterproof and airproof membrane on the outside so that you don't need to do any tyvek just put the sheets up and then you have to put a tape that's super sticky over these seams but if you see we left a gap that way there's room for expansion. They have these really nice printed circles uh, showing you where the studs are, so you just have to hit the circle, which is actually kind of fun. Um, the only thing with these is you have to make sure you don't overdrive them. And I think on the website they say an up to an eighth inch overdriven is okay. But let me see if I can find one. Here's one, here's a good example. So you can see it's all the way through that membrane. So. We put a circle on it. Zip has a liquid flashing. We're just gonna go by, give them a quick swipe just to double check, make sure that there's no water or air getting in. So I would say we probably have about, what'd you say, a quarter of it done? Yeah. A quarter of it. So our pile's still lasting. Man, this is exciting. It's starting to really like show the shape of the house and it's really sturdying these walls up. Something you guys will probably notice is there's no windows, but there are windows on the house. We're just not cutting them out yet. There's no point. There's just more chance for rain to get through. So there's no point in doing it until we're ready to cut them out. So we're going to tape these seams. Um, we have to go get more nails first, but that's probably going to be on the next video. And once we're ready, our windows are in. They're just being stored at the lumber yard right now. We're waiting on two custom windows to come in. And then, uh, then we can, once we get the trusses on, they're coming tomorrow to measure the trusses. 
uh, this company comes out, they measure the base of the house. That way, when they get the trusses, they're exact. As always, guys, thanks for watching. And if you're new here, thank you for subscribing. I accidentally shot Chelsea in the leg with a nail gun, and it's kind of crazy how I spend two years working like crazy making these videos and uh, with little traction and then you make one silly video that was a complete accident and we've gotten like 400 subscribers in the past two weeks so if you're new welcome to the Rathburn Ranch we're glad you're here